Hi everyone, today we're going to work on different slopes and how we adjust our postures or our feet or our weight to adjust to those lies. Now, here I've got ball below my feet. So what am I going to do? I'm going to widen my stance up so that I get my centre of gravity lower and put my weight forward as well. You can see there, if you look at old videos of Seve Ballesteros, he was the best at getting his weight, he's getting his stance wide, getting his centre of gravity low and his weight forward. I'm also going to keep my club face open so that the heel doesn't dig in and flip over on the hill side. Okay, so let's see how I go. I've got my stance low, I've got my weight forward, face open. And there she goes. Hi everyone, now we're on an upslope. And what's the tendency for a lot of people is to add extra loft, add extra hands, the ball pops up and it doesn't get to the hole. So, we want to get our, ball, our feet closer together. We want to get our hands a little bit in front. See how I've got a bit of shaft angle? And I don't want to, I don't want to lose that. I want to maintain that angle into impact. You ready? That, that gets the ball shooting out lower and running up the green. If I add loft, the ball's going to flick up in the air too much and it will never get back to that back pin. Hi everyone, I've got the ball above my feet now, so alignment is important. If I aim square to the target, the ball's going to shoot to the left, so I have to aim a little bit to the right in order for the ball to pull off the club face to the left. Now the other thing I want to do here is stand a little bit taller. I don't want to be bent over too much, that'll cause me to get a bit steeper. I want to be standing taller so that I can move around the slope with my rotation and keep that club face a little bit open, that'll stop the ball pulling off the slope. 